Hola, 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 buenas tardes, good afternoon, my beautiful people, welcome back to the channel, it's your girl here, Daniela, the planning diva, and today I thought it would be fun to set up my functional Franken planner for the upcoming month, the month of March, I have a couple of things I want to switch up in here, and I need to set this up, and I kind of want to give a spring makeover to my planner. I've been using this Cozy Critters um, cover for the last two months and I think I am in the mood to switch things up a little bit. So we're going to be doing that today. And also, I think I'm going to try to thin out this planner a little bit. It's really, really thick right now and it is barely fitting into my zip folio and so I'm hoping that I can maybe um, thin this out a little bit. So we'll see. Anyway, this is my functional Franken planner. It is a Franken planner of five different happy planners. I have um, fitness, meal planning, budgeting, faith, and gardening in this one planner. I call it my functional Franken planner because I don't necessarily decorate these spreads as much as my flagship planner or my creative planner. And these planners represent different aspects in my life that keep my life holistically balanced. I feel like these planners are my functional planners because they really help me live my best life. And when it comes to decorating them, I'm more interested in functionality over creativity. Although, don't get me wrong, I do try to decorate these and make this planner super super cute but again it's not my number one focus when it comes to my functional franken planner anyway enough jibber jabber for now um, i'm gonna go ahead and take off these covers i really really like the um cozy critters cover and i'm gonna be sad to see it go but I kind of want to switch it up a little bit. So let's see what we can do. And I think because we are heading into spring, I'm going to be grabbing this cover. This is um, the Press Florals cover. This is one of my all-time favorite planners that they came out with. I adore this, um, this cover here. Let me pull this off. I'll pop the Cozy Critters onto this planner. And this planner is actually just a collection of filler paper. So it's not a planner. Let me add these onto the discs. I think I'm gonna stay with the expander discs, the lavender expander discs, because I think they're gonna look so good with this cover because of those purple tones in this cover. <gasps> beautiful i love it and then i am going to switch up my um, valentine's day cover page this one was super super cute but very seasonal i like to use this one in in february and um i'm gonna put that away and then i think i'm gonna pull for this cover page this is a floral cover page i did last year or two years ago and this one is um from the jungle vibes planner that came out uh, for 2021 and 2022 but i decorated it with a bunch of florals and i love how it turned out so this is going to be perfect for spring and then um we have the 2021 calendar on the back i think i might cover that at some point but for now i'll just leave it this bookmark just kind of um sits here at the front of my planner i have plans to make a table of contents with this filler page and then this page is just a filler page. It's a grid page with Mickey and Minnie on it. And actually, I glued it onto the back of this page here because um, I had actually used the back of this page for a habit tracker at some point. And so, and um, I still wanted to keep this side. So I ended up just gluing like a blank filler page on top of that filled out habit tracker. But these were my 2022 new year's resolutions and i just love how they look and i feel like these are good resolutions for any year and so i just have these here in the front and then i have my sticky note dashboard here with another bookmark some journaling pages which i really want to get into soon 
my boss bitch morning routine and my bedtime routine and then we have some daily pages which i'm actually thinking of pulling out a few of these because i'm trying to thin out my planner a little bit so i'm thinking of only keeping um five filler pages um maybe one of these daily pages i'll take this one out and maybe one of these um but the rest of the pages i'm gonna take out and, and then for my whiteboard um, dashboards i really like these two so i'm gonna hold on to those i'm gonna pull this one out again i'm just trying to thin out my planner so let's pull that out i want to leave a folder in here so that's fine okay and then we get into my fitness section here and then we have the month of february from the tie-dye fitness planner and i'm actually thinking of taking out the month of february i want to keep two months at a time in this planner but i'm wondering if maybe that's just not going to be possible with how much other stuff i keep in here so i'm going to take out february and this is going to be a nice little flip through of february in my functional planners although i'll be honest february was a little bit rough for me and so my february planners are a little bit blank i would say i started getting back into it like the last week of february so the February monthly for fitness, I've actually been experimenting with how I want to use this. It used to be just kind of like a record keeper of all my workouts in a given month, but I've decided to try to plan out a, an entire month's worth of workouts. I think it would be really cool to give myself a month-long fitness program and then kind of work towards achieving those goals. I used to just use this monthly calendar as a way to keep track of the workouts I did. And in the month of February, I walked a lot because I had surgery on the 3rd and I wasn't really supposed to be working out too much after that. I didn't really start working out until the 18th and I've been slowly getting back into it this month here. But I decided to stop using this as a record keeper. So I stopped writing down the workouts that I completed. And for this week, which is the upcoming week here, it's currently Sunday, I've actually mapped out the workouts that I'm going to do. So I'm starting to, on a micro scale here, um, plan out my workouts using the monthly. And so this was the week I had surgery, completely blank. This is the week I was recovering from surgery, so also blank. At this time, I was also making these running tracker stickers, which I really, really like. And that's something I've been really motivated by in my fitness planner is making my own stickers. So these walking stickers I made myself and I made this running sticker. I didn't run on Saturday. I was just playing around with sticker placements. So I just popped that there. And then this was the week that I started getting back into fitness, getting back into my fitness planner. I made these Fitbit stat stickers, I made these hiking stickers, and I made these hydration tracker stickers, and I love how they turned out. Also, I did not run these two days. I was just messing around with these stickers. I was just filling them out to test different pens on them, and I really liked them. But I did hike on the 18th here. I did uh, 5.7 miles. I love my hiking sticker. And then this is the current week here. Let me take this out. And I was really getting back into my fitness. And actually, I did do this stretch here as well. And then I haven't um, filled in some of my stats here, which I will probably do at some point before I put these pages away in my fitness planner. Today is Sunday. I actually did not hike. I actually ran again. It has been really, really rainy um, for the last couple of days, and so I didn't really want to go hiking because the dirt roads are probably going to be just absolute mud pits. And so I decided not to go hiking, and I decided to go running instead. And I ran about three miles. So I'm going to peel off the sticker and replace it with one of my running tracker stickers. And then... I'm still figuring out how I want to use this um, March overview. I'm thinking of taking pictures of myself and then keeping track of my progress. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm thinking of maybe leaving this page in my planner and then taking out these pages. So I might do that. I might take this out and then leave this here. Um, I'm thinking of maybe tucking these here in the beginning. 
These are just like fitness filler sheets um, in case I feel the need to use those. And then I'm also thinking of maybe moving these to the back. I'm not sure. I'm still thinking about it. Um, so these are my sticker storage pockets from the Happy Planner and I keep my workout stickers in here and my hydration tracker stickers. And yeah, I'm just going to tuck them in here for now. And then we have March Monthly. I've already started decorating a little bit for the March Monthly and planning out um, my workouts for this upcoming week. So today is Sunday, um, the Sunday before March. And so I planned out the last couple of days of February and the first couple of days in March. And this is what I envision it to look like every time I check in on Sunday to plan out my fitness program. And I'm going to be setting up my um, fitness planner um, right after this video. I'm going to make a video on that. And we just have March. Um, and then I have my folder here with my marathon training program. And that is my fitness section. I have my meal planning section um, right after. I have a little whiteboard there. This planner is actually from last year and I picked up an extra copy um, last year in order to use for this year and I'm just redating all of the um, pages. I'm bummed out that Happy Planner did not come out with a regular meal planner and so I'm just going to be reusing these dividers until they come out with a meal planner again. So for the monthly, I actually don't use it too much. And again, um, I wasn't really in my planner too much for February. I was just so, so busy. So a lot of blank pages. But when I am in this planner, this is what it looks like. And I was actually in my meal planner for January. So my January meal planner it looks full. It looks nice. And it wasn't until February that I started kind of um, taking a step back from it. And just I just was so busy. But I really, really like my meal planner. It's a combination between a meal planner and a meal record keeper because I do like to keep track of what I'm eating, particularly so I'm not overeating. I'm a Taurus, I love to eat, and so I tend to overeat. And because of that, I tend to gain weight if I'm not being careful about what I'm eating. I actually just designed these two stickers down here at the bottom. These are my calorie calculator stickers, which allows me to keep track of my caloric input, my caloric output, and the net caloric gain or loss. I designed these blue calorie calculator stickers, and then I went ahead and designed this pink calorie calculator sticker, which I think turned out a little bit cuter than these. But now I have two types of calorie calculator stickers to use in my meal planner. So that is that. And again, I think I'm going to be taking out um, this month of February here, putting that away. And then again, we have more sticker storage pockets. This one is just uh, meal planning stickers, and these are my calorie calculator stickers. And I'm actually thinking of maybe tucking them in the front here. Maybe after this guy, I can tuck them in like so. Okay, so there is that. And then that way I can leave this March overview page. And then we have the March divider. And I actually already started decorating um, the March monthly as well. I think I'm going to be using these pages to take pictures of the meals that I make and putting them in here. I think that would be fun. And I designed this pink kawaii concha sticker. I added some sparkly vinyl on top of it to make it super cute and reflective. I had a lot of fun designing this. So yeah, I'm thinking of making this kind of like a, a gallery of all the meals I make. I think that would motivate me to continue to try new meals and really care about how they're presented. <laughs> um, and then for these pages, I'm actually trying to use them as grocery lists, pantry inventory lists, and also um, making a note of different recipes that I'm trying out this month, and then what ingredients I need to make those recipes. And then this is the first week in March. I already set it up here. 
I think for meal planning, I'm going to be using this weekly menu sticker on the sidebar of the weeks to plan out what I'm eating during the weeks. And then also using these pages to decide what I, what it is I'm cooking and what ingredients I need. And then I'm going to be using the actual like meal planning section here to document what it is I'm actually eating. Because I can meal plan all day, but sometimes what I plan is very different than what actually happens. And so I'm going to keep track of what I'm eating here, and at the end of the day, I want to calculate how many calories I'm eating, how many calories I'm burning, which is a metric I get from my Fitbit, and then the net caloric gain or loss. So that is the plan for my meal planner here. And then we have my budget section. Um, I have a savings goal um, tracker here, and then... Um, we have debt payoff trackers, which I want to set up because I have a couple of debts that I want to pay off. Um, I have a savings tracker here. also need to set that up. And then I have some filler paper about different bills that I pay um, consistently and when those bills are due. I actually kind of want to set this up again because it is kind of messy. It's kind of just like scratching, chicken scratch, back of the envelope kind of situation here and so I have another um, filler page, a half sheet filler page um, for me to use when I finally have some time to sit down to set that up. And then some budget stickers and then we have my February budget section. This is a really functional planner for me. Oh and it's undated as well so I just kind of write February 2023 at the top here and I just keep track of my bills that I'm paying on this monthly calendar and then um, money I'm spending throughout the weeks. So I'm actually going to pull out my budget section here. Um, let's pull that out. And actually, I was good about keeping up with this for the first like two weeks, and then I just totally stopped keeping track of my expenses. So I think I'm going to put these away. Um, <laughs> I'll, say, I'll hold on to those pages that um, I didn't write in for other months, but let's put that away. And then and then I have um, the March um, divider here. And again, this is undated. And then there's two pages of bills that you wanna keep track of. And then following those pages, we have the expense tracker sheets and a budget review at the back. And honestly, this month at a glance here, I feel like it should go at the beginning here. So we have like a budget review and then the month at a glance and then the monthly. I think that's how it should be set up. Um, I just have an envelope there with some important information. And then I have some punched sheets. These are budget stickers and like stickers to set up an undated um, budget planner. I just I just tuck those into here because they're just so convenient to tuck in here. Um, oh, and then I have my little um, Hungry Caterpillar planner cover page. I think I'm going to set that aside for now just because I'm trying to pull out as much stuff as possible. And then we have my faith section. Um, again, February was just such a tough month for me and so it's it's empty. Absolutely empty. Um, let me pull this out. I'm hoping to get back into faith this month though, so I'm going to just start fresh in March. So, and I'm so excited to jump back into faith with this divider. This is gorgeous right here. I'm really looking forward to reconnecting with faith. I feel like faith and spirituality has taken such a back seat in my life um, because I've been so busy, but um, I'm really recommitting to carve out time in my day for faith and spirituality. I've actually started to pray again just a little bit here and there um, when I can and I feel like that definitely helps my mood and my motivation to take care of myself and to just move forward in life. So yeah, looking forward to faith planning in March. And then we have the gardening section. And my gardening section is what I call the rolling monthly layout, which each um, month is stands for a season, and then each weekly spread stands for three weeks. Let me pull this out so you can see what I mean. Um, so in this case, we have February 2023, and each and I'm using um, an undated vertical layout, and and each box stands for one day. So in a layout like this, um, we're seeing three weeks at a time. 
and I try to keep the months separate from each other so that way I'm, I have a little bit of wiggle room because sometimes I feel like I do need a little bit more space for three weeks like this um, for my garden. So we started February the 1st on Wednesday and then I have um, up until February the 28th here. And then I'll probably start March um, maybe on these pages here. And again, February has been a little bit rough for me, so I haven't been in my gardening planner as much as I would like. I have been in the garden quite a bit, but I just haven't been able to get into my gardening planner as much. So I think one of the next things on my to-do list is to set up my March monthly in my gardening planner. And then the last section that I have here is just some filler paper and some journaling pages. Which actually, now that I think about it, I kind of want to pull these up and put them in the front. I feel like they get lost here in the back, so let me pull these out. Pull this out. I'm going to tuck in my stickers here. I'm going to replace my bookmarks as well. Okay, there we have all of my filler pages in there. Love it. And I feel like I took out quite a bit of paper from this planner and so it feels a lot thinner, which is nice. Um, it fits a lot better in the zip folio. It closes a lot better. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, it isn't too bad. It's a little bit, you know, straining at the edges a little bit. Do you see how my zip folio is kind of bent because of how big my planner is? <laughs> I don't really like that very much. I'm wondering if maybe I can take out some of the stuff that I have in here, like carrying all these stickers around. Maybe if I took out some of the stuff that I have in here. Let's see, let me pull out some stuff. I want to keep this batch of stickers in here because I want to use those up. So let's pull that out. Let's see what I have in here. You can get rid of that. I have some stationery and some stamps. I kind of want to leave these in here. Let me tuck these into this pocket. what I have here. I have some postcards. I love this thing so much. Why does it feel like I have something in here? Oh, okay. I have um, sticky notes in here. Okay. I have stamps. The stamps can live with the rest of my stationery. And then I have sticky notes. I kind of want to tuck these in here. Um, my sticky notes. And then I just have this little stationery in there. Like I have just some cute little um, zines. Um, these guys, I think I can put these postcards away. I love this guy here, so I kind of want to keep it. Um, I'll put that there. And then I think I'll put these um, sticky notes away because they're really thick. So I think that would help me to cut down some stuff here in my planner. My little pen there. Okay, let's try closing it. Again. Okay, I feel like that's a little bit better. It's still a little bit bent, but it's not as bent as it used to be. Okay, I think that's fine. I, I really wish I could put two months at a time for each of my planners, but um, I think because I have so much in here um, besides like the monthly pages, like I have so much filler paper and um stickers and all i think it's just not gonna fit but i think i'm okay with having um just one month at a time we'll try it out we'll see 
Anyways, I think this is the setup for March. I love it. I love how it turned out. Let me know what you're doing to get your planner all ready for March. Are you changing the covers? Are you changing the discs? Let me know. Let us know in the comments down below. And again, thank you so much for spending so much time with me here today. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, and happy planning. Bye.